Hey everybody, getting ready to fly over this valley. I was here last night, but it was kind of dark. It's a pretty cool valley. And I'll take you along with me. Take off. It's a scorcher out here today. It was real nice over the weekend until we got to today. The humidity was real low. Now it's back. And I'm out here no shade. flying spark in this is a wonderful little drone if you ever think about getting a, a drone make the dji spark your first one it's really cheap with all the technology packed into it it's the smallest and cheapest in the dji line it's only you can get one at best buy with the remote controller for 400 dollars. you can fly it with your phone but you can't get the transmission distance. You can't go near as far. So it's best to get a remote controller with it. And like I said, you can get one at Best Buy for $400. Worth every penny. You can just throw it in your backpack and give you an idea of the size of it. You can land it in your hand. But it is packed full of technology. It's got pre-programmed shots in there. Really neat shots that you can already pre-programmed in there. Flying over this valley, it's it's pretty big. I say it's about a mile and a half or two wide. real bright out here it's hard for me to see my screen real good well it's the official end of summer kind of bums me out although I do like the month of September in North Carolina because the humidity is usually always low and there won't be a cloud and the sky will be blue every day and rarely rains. It's our driest month. It hadn't been that bad this summer though. We never broke 100 degrees. We had several 90 degree days. The heat doesn't bother me. It's that humidity high humidity just like my friends in Indiana southern Indiana especially humidity sucks Move the camera down, see what's down below. There's several little fields. I can't really see them with my eyes. I see them through the camera. pretty neat because you got a camera view but you can also click on the map and it'll show you a map view so it shows you which way you're going you have a little compass here showing you how where the nose which way you're pointed
keep having to stop dripping sweat. This scorcher out here. I was mad at myself for not getting out here in the daytime yesterday when it was a lot nicer out. I have a bigger drone called a Mavic. It's top of the line. You can fly it out three miles. You could go further, but you wouldn't have enough battery power is what limits you. I just like grabbing a little spark because it's so tiny. Flying is so easy to get and launch up. The Mavic has a lot better 4K camera though. And it can really fly fast if you want it to. The Mavic will go 40 miles an hour. <laughs> I never do that, though. Or you can go to the opposite end of the spectrum and click on, like, uh, you can put the, what they call tripod mode, where everything moves really slow if you're trying to get that good cinematic footage, you know. So you don't make any sudden jerks or moves on, on the drone. You can um, click on tripod mode and everything slows down dramatically the camera is what they call is mounted on what they call a gimbal now the spark only has what they call the two axis gimbal which is pretty stable but the Mavic has what they call a three axis gimbal three different points balancing the camera so no matter how windy it is how hard you jerk the drone, that camera will just stay steady as a rock. Which the Spark does good with only its two axis gimbal. But like I said, it's a hell of a buy. $400, the Mavic's expensive. There's different lines. There's like the Mavic Pro Platinum, it's $1,000. And then there's the Mavic 2. It's $1,500. There are a bunch of drones out. A bunch. 99% of them are made in China, though. There's one American company in California getting ready to try to start a drone this fall. They keep sending me emails. They won't show me a picture of it. It's like secret. They don't want to show a picture of it. Because they came out with a drone. A really weird looking drone. It looks like a flying notebook. And uh, it was $2,000. So I don't know what they were thinking. I mean, how many people can go spend $2,000 on a drone? It didn't even look like a drone either. It didn't even come with a controller. Everything was pre-programmed in it. It just flew itself. You did, rarely did any flying to it. Oh, uh, we just went to black and white. We went, our signal's getting weak. Try going up higher. The higher you go, the better, because there's less interference. Well, we're out a mile, which is remarkable for this little drone. We'll have to turn around pretty soon, because, of, like I said, that's the only drawback with the spark. The battery could is a small battery because the drone's so small. We're gonna send it back home now. Battery level is low. The aircraft will go to the home point in 10 seconds. Go home. I guess you heard that. 
it wasn't extremely low it was just calculating that it needed to turn around now to have enough battery power to get back from where it started it won't let you if you keep going out in a straight line it'll calculate the battery power you have left and won't let you go too far to where you'll run out on the return trip so that's what happened I got to the point where it thought it needed to come back in order to have enough power to get back home that's the only drawback with the spark. And that's what my little warning says. The remaining battery is only enough to return home now. <laughs> but she, she's coming back. coming back fast a lot faster than I went out I was only flying about eight or nine miles an hour it's coming back at 25 miles an hour which we still have 20 per six percent battery like I said the only reason it turned itself around is it knew it needed that much to get back home with a little buffer You can see it's coming. I'm standing behind a school. Low battery warning. Standing behind a school up on a hill overlooking this valley. Excuse me. Damn wind was blowing in. Sorry about that. But anyway, thanks for coming along for the ride. This fall I'll come back and do one when the leaves change. And here it comes. It's coming in. Landing. Still had 18% battery, so we were okay, but we were pushing it. It's coming down now, it's way up there. Actually, I should have brought it down some before it returned to home. Well, thanks a lot, everybody. Hope you all had a good weekend and a good summer. This is the unofficial end. Hey.